Global investors will get access to a whole new world of stocks as China's domestic equities are added to international indices for the first time. The list of stocks being included in a benchmark index compiled by MSCI includes 234 of China's corporate giants. Firms like Guizhou Maotai, Media Group, SAIC Motor, and Foshan Haitian. It's one part of a tremendous shift in global finance. Opening up China's capital markets will have repercussions for investors for decades to come. Soy sauce is the beginning and end of a lot of Chinese cooking. I've come to a manufacturer with a park-like factory compound dedicated to the condiment that is being catapulted into the equity index. Some foreign investors are already familiar with domestically listed companies like Hai Tian. After all, it is the biggest soy sauce manufacturer in China. And that's an industry with hundreds of years of history and it's still growing fast today. But for many foreign investors, index inclusion means they'll only be getting their first taste of Chinese A shares. China is by far the world's biggest market for soy sauce, 50 times the size of the US. Total retail sales by volume nearly doubled in the past decade, rising to 10 million tons in 2017. Uh, it is quite important because... Uh, Nan Sheng, a fidelity analyst based in Shanghai, regularly visits Haitian and many other headquarters of A-shares, or domestically listed Chinese stocks. I'm meeting him outside one of the huge vats where Haitian soy sauce is brewed. He says growth of the condiment industry in China is interesting because it doesn't always correlate to the macroeconomic environment. If you are a chef, whether professionally or at home, uh, the, the soy sauce is actually the key flavor ingredient, right? It's responsible for the, for the flavor and the coloring. And oftentimes you're not going to sacrifice on usage nor brand um, when, you, when you're used to a particular product for soy sauce because it's, it's mission critical and yet it's low percentage of your cost of goods of the dish. Haitian was founded as a state-owned enterprise by consolidating 25 small-time older soy sauce brewers in the southern city of Foshan in 1955, shortly after the People's Republic itself was established. Forty years later, it was already one of the biggest players in the country. And like so many other firms in China, it was privatized by its management and was listed on the Shanghai Stock Exchange in 2014. That opened the door to foreign ownership for the first time and set the stage for faster growth. Now, index inclusion should raise Haitian's profile on the global stage. When we went public four years ago, our market valuation was 50 billion renminbi. Now, our market valuation is more than 170 billion. How would MSCI inclusion impact your company? For us to be part of the index, it means we have more exposure to the international market, which will eventually be good for Haitian's long-term development. Unlike other developed country markets, China's domestic equity markets are dominated by retail investors. One effect of MSCI inclusion is that onshore markets will become more institutional in nature, and less momentum-driven as passively managed funds flow onshore. For companies like Haitian, that means potential access to a broader, deeper, and more international shareholder base. We're here now at labeling and packaging, which is one of the final stages of the soy sauce manufacturing process here at Haitian. Uh, it's a sterile environment, so we need to wear some protective clothing. And one of the floor managers has agreed to walk us around and show us the process. So let's go. Floor manager Dong Jiahao has worked at Haitian for 12 years. He says this facility has more than nine production lines and can produce more than 60 different products. How does the soy sauce transfer here? It's through a highly sterilized, closed tunnel. There's no exposure to air or anything at all. How do you transfer it out? That's also a very hygienic process where you put bottles into auto machines, package it, label it, and you transfer it to a basement. 
Then it gets shipped according to the orders. Haitian is just one name in a universe of thousands of Chinese equities. And because A-share inclusion is starting from only a very modest base, at less than 1% of the MSCI Emerging Market Index, the scope for future inclusion of Chinese shares is huge. Navigating China's investment landscape requires diligence and on-the-ground experience, but now more than ever, it's something that no one can afford to ignore.